What's going on everybody? Poji Force here and welcome to a first look at Valheim. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, this is an early access game. Ooh, excuse me. Uh, open world Norse exploration RPG crafting maybe kind of thing. It's only half a gig in size, 559 megabytes. And it's an early access. Me and Callie, Lemur, are going to be playing it together. Oh. Those textures are not good. I'm starting to see why, uh... Wow! Look at that texture mapping. Oh, yeah. You can make yourself very luminescent, huh? Yeah. You can also like make yourself dark as the abyss. Painfully white. I think somewhere to oh, close to the middle is good for me, thanks. So, graphically, it's not the greatest. That's but if it play, before. if it plays smooth and the gameplay is enjoyable, that's what matters. We're some uh, hardy Norsemen. You, uh, you start your world. Okay. When there is a I'll slider just for how blonde your hair is, when you can have it as blonde as your skin tone or black. I want to go for somewhere around here. I'm not sure what they mean by hair tone. Is that like how gray it is? How rich in color it is? I think that's what that means. Alright. Pojikos! Of the Norse Kingdoms! Start world name. There's my world seed, by the way, if anyone gets them, the game for themselves and wants to. It is spontaneously generated, kind of like Minecraft. So. We'll see how well this plays out. Uh, what will, shall we name this? First look land. That's dumb. Firstland? Firstland. First of the last. First land. Yeah, F-U-R-S-L-U-N-D. Firstland. No, I didn't spell it like that. Oh. It's kind of funny that you have to make your character and then make a world. So if you level up your character in one world, could you move them to a new world and start over, but with all the level ups from your previous world? That's a good question. Something to think about. If I ever get into the game, I'm on a loading screen. I'm still trying to, like, find your server. Long ago, the Allfather Odin united the worlds. He threw down his foes and cast them into the tenth world, then split the bows that it... held their prison to the world tree and left it to drift unanchored, a place of exile. For centuries, this world slumbered uneasily, but it did not die. As glacial ages passed, kingdoms rose and fell out of sight of the gods. When Odin heard his enemies were growing once again in strength, he looked to Midgard and sent his Valkyries to scour the battlefields for the greatest of their warriors. Dead to the world, they would be born again in Valheim. So I guess this is like some sort of like purgatory where Odin threw all his bad guys and we're like dead warriors and they were just like, hey. Oh, that's kind of a cool looking character. The Valkyries are certainly a lot more crow-like in this game. Well, why would they be all angelic? They didn't really have, I don't know, like, they're Valkyries. Most most of the uh, white birds up there would have been like snow owls. But they're black. With a little bit of white on the chest. and the, They kind of remind me of a uh, haunch crow. Because they even got some black on the red. back of their wings. So, or red on the back of their wings, I should say. At least look like it. So it really makes me think of the, the bird Pokemon haunch crow. So, uh, what's is, the, uh... When am I gonna get what's dropped? What's the name you used? First land. F-I-R-S-T land. One word? Uh, yeah. And the name of the bird is Huggin? They drop me down and the first thing I see is a crow named Huggin I'm supposed to talk to. Isn't that Dark Souls? Welcome to the Tenth World, warrior! I am Huggin, sent here to guide you on your travels. The megaliths surrounding you are the sacrificial stones. They represent the Forsaken, which you must slay in order to ascend to Valhalla. Why do I have to sl Why do I have to go through an extra proving ground to pr I thought I was good enough. That's why you brought me here. But now you're telling me that I gotta do more to prove worthy to Valhalla? Screw you, Odin! And your one I, eye. I haven't gotten to see it quite yet. Uh, I'm still trying to find your world. Uh. Did you set it to be, like, accessible, know. or...? Is there a thing I, uh, It says, I am wet. 
This stone is Vegvizir. The magical stones were scattered throughout the lands by Odin, a signpost pointing toward the ritual grounds of the Forsaken. If inspected closer, this will reveal the summoning place of Aekthir, your first prey. He is a mighty beast, so you need to properly arm yourself before even attempting to defeat him. Let me go into my settings and see if there's a... If there's a yeah, you, you would have to, like, start server, hit, log out. server kind of thing. Okay. It's in start game. That. And if it means that, uh... Alright, so this is telling me where I need to go to get to... But they're also saying that I need to... I think this is tutorial time. Maybe. Because I can't, uh... I can't get in. Mouse 2 is block. Mouse 3 is secondary. Oh, there's a kick. Oh, I'm leveling up my unarmed skill. There's a boar. I got some wood! How do I open my inventory? Is it I? They didn't really... Okay. So, C toggles between walk and run. Mouse 2 in space is a dodge. A little dodge roll. Found another stone. Rune stone. When the grass grows underfoot and the sky is blue overhead, there will always be a hearth and home. See my food bar. He is still pick up. I got a, a dandelion. I can't damage the tree with my bare fists. Shift is... Hey, is that Huggin? Hey, Huggin. You have found the summoning place for one of the Forsaken. Make the correct offering at their altar and they will come. Be wary, though. The Forsaken are not easy prey. So craft a wicked weapon, don your finest armor, and eat a hearty meal before engaging them in combat. Okay. Uh, tab. I need six wood to craft a club. I've got one. Okay. Okay. I took my clothes off. Putting them back on now. Got a stone. Hello, Huggin. You are big. Most items must be crafted. Oh, that... That what? is very crow-like. Yeah, that's what I'm I saying. I it. Extremely crow-like. <clears throat> However, yep. due to your recent departure from Midgard, you will have to recall the true shapes of objects. Just pick things up and it will all come back to you, I'm sure. My lesser brother, Munnin, tells me one can fashion a stone axe out of wood and stone. Rah! Oh, there's a jump skill? So if you jump, you get better at jumping. What? What you saying? Huggin? You have found I, a snack. I, Consume it to improve your health and stamina. Be aware that before long you will grow hungry again. So try to always have at least a couple of different meals ready. I've got two rocks. To make a stone axe, I need four rocks. I could make a hammer. So you need a hammer to make a... Uh... It's kind of like how in uh, Night of the Dead you needed the, the crafting hammer. Yeah. You need the hammer here to build stuff. Oh, what the hell is that? Neat. Is that a Forsaken? That's a Forsaken. I'm running. I don't have a weapon. Oh, there we go. Your world just showed up. Skill improved. Run. So, hey there. Bye. Blah. Blah. I splatted him. He went skr splat. I got resin and a torch from that guy. Uh, I see um, you on the map. Yeah, if you press M... And still, like, visible to other players. Oh, you're that way. Yep. The map was lit that way, which I think was telling me that this is the direction I needed to go. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta need, see what uh, sort of nonsense you've, you've made your character out to be. How are you already hurt? I fought a boar. I also won against a boar. How do I open my inventory? Tap. I just got wow. raw meat from that boar. Oh, there's some mushrooms here. Oh, that's how I equip that. Okay. This is I want to try something. Okay. I can't actually hurt you. I wanted to see if that, cool. if, uh, that was a thing. 
need to find rock. I need one more rock. Oh, there's Huggin. You go talk Teach to me your ways, Huggin. Now the question is, is this here my entire world? Like if you open map, what you see on the map, is that the entire world? Given the when size you of the game... zoom out to the circle? Oh, there's a... Oh. Oh. Okay. You see, I didn't even know there was a zoom function. Oh. Gamer instinct. I seem to have arrived into an open field. This might be a good place to... Oh, there's a house here. I was about to say, this would probably be a good place to start building our... our Yurt, or whatever the hell it's called for the Norsemen. There's nothing in here. It could be a temporary shelter for now. Skill improved. Wood cutting to three, and now I have a log, and I got feathers. My log's rolling away. Watch out. Yeah, I figured. A lot of wood just from that. And then, can I pick up the log? No, I can break it down further, I think. Who hugging? You have crafted a hammer! With this tool, you will raise mighty halls and towering fortifications. Start by building a workbench. This will turn, in turn, will enable you to construct other things. Rah! Building the workbench in the little hut here. There we go. Talk to Huggin. This workbench allows you to craft complex items, as well as giving you access to a lot of more building pieces to construct with a hammer. Rah! Okay, so I have four in unarmed, one in run, five in clubs, zero in blocking, Two in jump, zero in axes, four in woodcutting, and zero in bows. Those are my current skills. I have six in unarmed, four in woodcutting, uh, two in run, one in jump, zero everything else. Uh, let's see. A wood floor, thatch roof, stake wall. Uh, I can build a wood floor. Why can't I cut this tree? It says it's too hard. Yeah, wood cutting six. It's still not going down. It may be a matter of... You know what? <laughs> Screw it. I don't need the perch. I'm gonna go for the stump. I'm gonna build... I wanna build out here. Oh, you have to be within range of your workbench. You can't just build wherever. Can I deconstruct this building and build it up better? Guess yes. you're finding out. Okay. How? Uh, middle mouse button. Oh, I think you accidentally deconstructed my crafting station. So, so I didn't even touch it. I just looked at it, and then it just kind of fell apart. Where did Huggin go? Did he? Okay, we need. Like, a... I was trying to talk to him, and now he's just gone. I'm gonna go up here then. I'm gonna build our crafting station up here. Rebuild it up I... here. I rotate it around. You know what you do with logs? What? You hit them more. Oh, without the crafting station, you can't uh, demolish. Nope. You need. I guess the idea is that I'm really su we're supposed to have a crafting station there. So, and it's honestly the flattest Indeed. ground I can find. So. I'm gonna just rebuild it nearby. Floor, I guess, inside. We just have to be careful to not demolish it by accident. There we go. Oh, look at that up there. I do believe that's part of the world tree. Huh, L look above you us. don't say. That's pretty nifty. Do we not want to make it maybe a little bit longer and or wider? I mean, this you is know, just to get, get a started. bed on either side. This is just to get started, to have a base platform. Hi. Right, I put a door on. Um. I can't have both my torch and a hammer out at the same time, which is problematic. Yeah, I'm I'm looking for more small stones so I can build a. Uh... Ooh, there's one. 
Campfire. Um, I'm gonna build a small wooden staircase. There we I'm go. I'm on my way. Where do we want it? Inside? Uh, let's have one right here on the hill, right outside, right where I'm standing. Oh, Huggin has something to say. Hey, Huggin. Be wary of the water. When the temperature drops at night, or if you are wet, you will suffer from being cold. This reduces your stamina regeneration. Seeking shelter by an open flame is your best option when this happens. Ah! You boy ain't got no more wood, and your boy's also gonna stand by the fire for a little while. Stay nice and warm. I feel cold. Yes, well, if all cold does is make me, uh, not get as much stamina, the oak is too hard. Huh, neat. My hunger isn't going down as yours. My axis skill just uh, improved. I've I've been eating. So Yeah, my axis skill is two. My wood cutting is eat nine. More raspberries. Neither can I. Guess you have to wait for it to be like flashing or something. Huh. That doesn't seem to work. Um uh, Poji? Yeah. The door is a lot taller than the roof. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Look not at it from back here. I'm looking at it from back here. It's not taller than the roof. See? It's not taller than the roof. Oh, that's weird. Oh, I had a gate equipped. Well, what I can try to do is first I'm going to dismantle these corners. And if we build up the wall above it, maybe. Well, let me do that. Yeah, remember, the uh, building was a uh, triangle when we got yep. here, not a square, so. One in the back, one in the front. So actually, the wood wall half, we need to replace that with a full wood wall. Also, I think I hear bad guys and it's making me nervous. Alright. So let's see. The next step is to finish building this roof like that and then we put a nice sloped thatch roof 26 I don't have the wood for that can you put it over the back so we've got a friggin roof over the crafting table because apparently we need a roof over the crafting table for some reason they really designed this where we had to use this as our starting location you know even though this isn't like the best graphics in the world this is still a really colorful and beautiful game how do you repair the axe at the table oh okay which is why we need to get a roof over at ASAP. I think standing under the tree I'm trying to chop down might not be a good idea. Stone axe broke. Oh, it's gotten real foggy. The fog's rolling in.
Um, how do I repair? I forgot how to repair. Oh! Uh, that's not it. <laughs> um, let's put the table there. I want to put a cooking station outside. Up over here by the, uh... Can I put it over the fire like this? Yeah, I think that's what I'm supposed to do. Alright, I'm cooking some meat. That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to put it over a fire like that. I'm cooking some meat. Oh, wow. Oh, that influences your stamina bar. I don't think my arm should be 10. <laughs> I don't think I should be scaling it up right now like this. The club is not going to suffice when it comes to rocks. Neither is the axe. I wonder. Nope, my fists aren't high enough yet. <laughs> not for lack of trying. I don't want you to snap. I want you to just go in between. I oh, my hammer is still on the ground. Cool. My axe and the extra hammer that I had. I can't. Uh, so yeah, okay. you said you go to the workbench. And... Oh, repair an item. Okay. Would you just drag it there? I think so. Repaired hammer. Uh... That's not the button. That's not the thing I was trying to repair. Repaired stone axe. Repaired hammer. Okay, I've got two hammers now. I'm just going to leave one in here. Oh, we can now build... We can now terraform. We can flatten this out. This tool is used for landscaping. You could say it is the perfect complement to the hammer. Use it to clear the ground and manipulate the terrain. It's easy to create buildings on level ground. Rat! Uh, does that mean build a path? Yep, that's exactly what that means. Build a path in the grass. It actually does things pretty well for low quality graphics. The lighting is fantastic. The uh the ever. Axe is just so much strong. The focus pull is so much nicer. Did you finish putting a, a frame at the top of the house? Uh, no. We built it too narrow. So oh. it just keeps trying to okay. flip to one it needs side to or be the three other. It needs to be five wide. It needs to be an odd number wide. I got you. Yeah. I want to see about building us some windows on this thing so it's, I don't know, nicer. The textures may not be like super high poly, but this is actually a rather low key beautiful game. So there's a house over here? Oh, there is? Yeah. Was there anything in it? Start. Uh, no. There was a weird monster thing called a neck. A neck? Yeah. Do we want to move our campfire and whatnot inside, or do we think it might burn our house down? Um, I'm not a fan of the possibility. Yeah, the fact that it can catch us on fire, I'm worried it might burn the house down. So I'd rather not put it in the house. What are you doing? 
When did you learn how to build beds? It's in furniture. Sleep the night away in your bed and awaken feeling refreshing, full of energy. Another improvement to your home would be some chests where you can store items. It is good practice to always have some spare equipment if something unfortunate should happen to you while exploring. Rah! All right, I'm claiming the bed on the right. Okay. I didn't realize that there was... Ah, shit. Um, oops. Um... Ooh, I can make a knife. I just need more flint. Ooh, there a flint go. axe. Actually... A put... flint spear? That's Word, put... I need more flint. Let's put one in each corner. Oh, that needs a nearby fire. Um. Hole, club, stone axe, hammer, torch. Alright, you kind of moving ahead on me here. I have flint. Ah, I do not have flint. How did you get flint? I found it. Down by the river. Down by the river. I'm gonna go down by the river then. I'm gonna follow the path. I'm gonna go down by the river. Hey guys, um, my computer ran out of disk space for a moment there and we had to go clean it up and we did lose some footage of what we were doing, but I guess it's a bit of a time jump. Here we are. Not really that much further ahead from where you last saw us. Uh, we got some beds. We had to move the fire to over here. We probably could have found a better place for it to be honest, but that's okay. It's a functional place for it, to say the least. Yeah, and I'm gonna put the cooking fit, pit, fit, whatever back over top of it, so that way we can cook any meat we get. Oh, you know what? We do have this one altar over here that we're probably supposed to be interacting with. Altar. And it says, yeah, to summon the Forsaken, so that way we can hunt them down and kill them like we're supposed to do. Uh, let's work on going up the tech tree and making a decent set of weapons, maybe some armor. Yeah, but this is part of the tutorial. Food. This probably is going to be easy. They're yeah, telling us but... to hunt his kin. I think they want us to make an offering of deer. Then we need to go up the tech tree and uh, get bows. I got some necktails. Necktails? Yeah. Also, the creek goes a little way and then turns into a pond. I wonder if and, fishing uh, is a I was game. Probably. And I was right. Uh, flint occurs much like in real life along like river dip beds and whatnot. I hit a grayling and he caught on fire. It was pretty funny. Nice. I hit him with a torch. Like, oh uh, well, of course he's gonna light on fire if you hit him with a torch. <laughs> Those things are like part sap. Oh, how did you get the bear trophy from a boar? Boar trophy, excuse me. Oh, new crafting. I, I was legitimately though. concerned. Like, okay, it's early access. I get it, but oh, I can craft a raft now. I guess because you found the lake. So to build ourselves up more, we actually need to be hunting more animals. Yeah, I'm. I'm trying to hunt boars, but they're not giving me no skins. Why am I stronger against graylings with my bare hands? Because you spent all that time building up your bare hands. True. <laughs> yeah, my jump is definitely stronger now. I'm not gonna catch this deer. Oh, there's a way to crouch and avoid being seen. Yeah, it's control. There's a sneak skill. Yep, my sneak is three. If you sneak up on a deer, maybe you can beat up on him. Mine just got. Three. I almost one shot one once. Yeah, that one's. Oh, you. neat. I don't need. A bow. Why? Because you can chuck spears. I didn't think you'd be allowed to. Oh. 
I got a deer! Oh, this nice. glowing snuck up on me. Come back here. Deer hide, deer rug. Oh, that is beautiful. The chuck on the spear is just so strong. So how'd you figure out how to craft spears? Was it from the, uh, the flint? From the flint. I forgot to put it in the box so you could make something too. Yeah, did you harvest all the flint from this creek? Because I found the lake. I went down the left side towards the house that has the beehive. If you go down the right side, there should still be some. Maybe we should uh, sleep since the night's coming. Yeah, and I then... want to get some wood first. Hi. Oh. Ow. I had a log land on me and it nearly killed me. It got stuck up Oof. on the tree and then I went to cut another log and fell out of the tree and landed on my head. So big oof. Alright, but I'm on my way back. I... Hope I'll wake up feeling a lot healthier. I do! Yay! 62 health. Um, weight, 0.3, quality, durability, slash 6, uh, pierce 6, oh, the club's actually pretty, pretty hard hitting, so, it's early morning. And we're gonna yep. go to this altar and see if we can't take out our first Forsaken. Those undead will get what's coming to them, yes sir. Okay, so it's telling me I need to offer. So I think it's eight. Nothing happens, okay. Peace offerable ichthyr. I think this is, that's a placeholder. I think we may need more deer, we may need a deer trophy. I need a deer trophy. I don't see any dir. I see a couple of necks. I don't even see necks. What the hell are necks? Show me a neck. Uh, come to me and then look down the ridge. See him down there? Uh, little green bastards. Down. Oh, the little, the little Dodongo looking things? Yeah. I'm gonna sneak up on him and club his ass. Whoa, another big house with another freaking uh, beehive in it. Killed my first neck. <gasps> Got a neck tail. Oh, there's some invisible bastard here. I can tell because he's wet. Killed that guy in one hit. Ow, Grayling. I got the deer trophy. Cool. I killed a Grayling and his sap fell in the water and now I can't find it. It's just sap. Alright, meet you back at the altar, see if that works. Let me just recruit my cat stamina real quick. Oh, we need a second one. Oh, we need two trophies? Yeah. Oh, I have one in my inventory. I didn't notice. You do? Yep. Uh, can you give me one? Drop it on the ground, I should be able to pick it up. Oh, when you dropped it on the ground, it instantly went to my inventory. Hold on, I'm gonna need eat first. Make sure I have a weapon out, and then... Here we go! Whoa! What's going on? Oh, he's big! It's a big deer man! He's so angry! Oh, wow! Oh, oh shit!
Help me out here. Oh, Jeebus. All right, use the rocks to your advantage to recuperate if you have to. I think to. you took my spear. I think somehow I did take your spear. Because I, I chucked it. Yep, I, uh, how do I chuck it? Uh, middle mouse button. There we go. I threw it at him. Did you get it back? Yep. All right, I'm trying to recuperate. Oh, did he take that down? Oh, Lord. Here, boy, so angry. Okay, I gotta run. I gotta hide. Gotta recoup. Recoup my health. Woo! Okay. Um. Oh, I forgot that dodging was a thing. Don't die now, okay? Granted, you're a lot healthier than I am at the moment. Watch out! Careful, you don't land. End up under the trees when they fall. Good lord! Ow. My club skill is 13. Recuperating, recuperating, recuperating. There are so many logs in the way, like I actually can't get to the fight right now. This is actually pretty awesome. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I blocked that. I tried to block it anyway. Blocking isn't 100% effective. Whale into him, we almost got him. Yeah! Yeah, boy. Antler Pickaxe Ichthyr Trophy. Well met. Right. Could we do that again? Return to the sacrifice of for a second trophy and offer it as a sacrifice to make the gods smile upon you. Right. So back when we first started the game. Um, yeah. I guess we'll pick up the rest. He knocked so many trees over. He destroyed so many rocks. That was fun. And we got through it. Playing this with friends makes it a lot easier. I'm pretty sure that would have been a lot harder by myself. Alright, let's see what happens. Your ability to run and jump is improved. Jump stamina usage minus 60%. Run stamina usage minus 60%. Cool! So we can run and jump for longer, basically. That's so cool! Hey, warrior! You have been granted the power of Ichthyr. Use it in times of need. Your next target dwells in the Black Forest. Go there, explore the lands, and uncover their lost treasures and resources. The Elder awaits! So we probably could take more time to build ourselves up. This is pretty cool though. I actually... You know, I was a little skeptical coming into this given how big of a scale they promised this game to be. And then it's only half a gig of, mem of hard drive space. I was worried this was going to actually turn out to be a piece of shit, but this is actually really fun. It's got some pretty involved systems, some really beautiful visuals in spite of the, the low uh, pixel count on the textures. I think this is a good game. And this is just our first look. This That was actually a really cool boss fight. That's it for now though, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, me and Lemur, Callie, will probably be playing more of this on our own time. Maybe we'll do it on stream someday. But that's all for now. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm Poji Force, and until next time, you all take care. I'll catch you later.